Thanks for being here. Authorities call it a case of brutal child abuse. A Johnstown man is accused of burning his six-month-old child in scalding hot water. At the time, doctors told police her condition was nearly fatal. That was last February. And today, Earl Saunders was sentenced. Maria Miller talked to the prosecutors and the family today. Maria? Well, Marty, by pleading guilty last month, Earl, Earl Saunders essentially admitted to the crime then. Today, he told the judge he was sorry for what he did, but didn't have an explanation. The family says it wouldn't have mattered what he was sentenced. It'll never be enough. One and a half year old Talia seems like a normal, happy child today, but that hasn't been the case for most of her young life. She's gone through extensive surgeries and treatment after police say her father, Earl Saunders, placed her tiny body into a bathtub full of scalding hot water when she was only six months old. It happened last February inside an apartment at the Solomon Homes in Johnstown. His excuse to police at the time was that he became angry and frustrated. Obviously, this child was severely burned, so she had a tremendous amount of medical treatment. And the victims will deal with that, and, and the child will deal with that the rest of her life. Saunders pleaded guilty to the crime in early December, and on Tuesday, during his sentencing, he told the judge he was sorry but didn't have an explanation as to why he did it, only saying it's something he had thought about often. The judge found that disturbing and sentenced Saunders to three to ten years in prison, followed by a five year probation where he's to have no contact with his daughter. Talia's family says his apology means nothing. In fact, they say he's never apologized to them. I just think he should be there longer. I mean, she's going to be scarred for life, so I think that he deserves the maximum, and then some. Talia's family says she's a happy girl, despite the surgeries and treatments that she'll ultimately need for the rest of her life. That's why friends have created a GoFundMe site online to help with her medical expenses. She's been struggling crawling and walking. She's been going through physical therapy. She still goes back and forth to Pittsburgh. And I think that was addressed in court today. The child scars will never go away, but the impact of having this individual plead guilty to both charges and a substantial state sentence uh, satisfied the victims and the Commonwealth. Now, if you want to help Talia and her family, we'll post all of that information on our website, WJACTV.com. In the meantime, Saunders was taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs today and sent straight to prison to begin his sentence. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.